Howdy y'all, this is K1 Locks. Today I come at you with a lock pin by Pikmin 1977. It is entitled Dive Hundo. This guy works like a champ, like all Pikmin stuff does. He's a bidding wet, right there. So we got a huge dip down there on uh, one, it looks like. So let's see what we can do to get by that, shall we? Let me use uh, top of the keyway, 50 thousandths. And let's see what we can't do here. I'm going counterclockwise. I don't know if we have to touch that pin or not. Go a little bit off of five there. So one is actually, that's number two, it's dangling down and then on the hollows there. That's number two, or one is on the glide down from that, so. It's not that. Ooh, there's a little bit off of five there. Ooh, there's a little off three. Ooh, fuck. I'm trying to figure out what the hell I'm doing. There must be six pins in this thing. Do a little rake action, see if I overset anything. Huh. Well, let's try. I'm going to try to go clockwise here. I'm going to go ahead and try a 20,000 Peterson Gym instead. That one might have been a little too high, so. I'm not feeling anything, any movement on it. A little bit off a of five.
Oh, sweet. And there we go. That was off of three. Sweet. So, all right, let's go ahead and open this guy up, shall we? Uh, I got my little pinning tray here. And let's see what we can do to open this sucker, shall we? Got that off quick and easy today. Now let's see what we can do to get this guy out. I'm going to shim it. Just in case. Oh, yeah. Good thing I'm shimming this one. This one is stuck like Chuck, man. Let's see what we got here. Oh, there we go. That's better. I think we got it all the way to the front now. Yeah, we do. So. Sweet. And it is a five pinner. Sweet. It still has a construction hole, as you, as you can see. So, but I don't think there's any T pins to mark in the way of getting that. So, we have a little serrated there. Uh, serrated. Serrated. Oh, it's kind of spooly esque. serrated so up in the Bible we have and it's serrated across the board except number two is cut down a little bit the pin must have been a little short with the key I'm not taking the key out oh here's the key actually let's see if we had to touch number two shall we or one Oh, we did have to touch number one, just barely though. So, and number two is probably the same way since it's cut down. See, it's right there. <laughs> yeah, it's right there. It does need to be touched just a hair though. So, all right, very cool, very cool. Let's see what we have up in the Bible, shall we? Okay, let's get this here. And my tweezers are right there. We have a standard. We have a spool. I see a steel spring and a copper spring in there. This looks like a serrated on three with a steel spring. Uh, this is a spooly serrated pin. Oh shit. I forgot what. And then number five is. If I can get it out here. A serious spool. So that's all we got in there. And it goes st steel, copper, steel, copper, steel. So it doesn't look like there's much anything in the Bible there. So what we have here total is, i dump these back out. We have almost a T pin on one and serrated on two. We have a serrated on three, almost a spool, big serration serrated there, and a serration here. We have a standard, we have a big spool, a huge serration here, a, uh, spool, and then a serrated here, and this is pretty much a serration the entire way. So, this lock was pinned by Pick Me 1977, entitled Five Hundo. This is K1 Locks saying be safe, be legal, and be the lock. Yeah.